What up everybody? So I've been hitting just a little bit here and there throughout Crystal Siege. As you can see, I just did 110 energy attack on the first uh, Guardian or whatever. This right here is what we're going to be talking about. VIP. So I previously had my VIP activated and it expired I think yesterday. I'm now only 10 points away from uh, VIP level 4. Let's look over the benefits for 3. The only really good thing that was in here is increasing max friends and the trade window goes down of a couple days. Instead of 12 days, it's 10 days. Other than that, nothing else really matters. Oh, well, except for also the daily trades trades increase, and also I guess the 20% increased passive leveling chance. So um, let's just look at this. To increase the passive on this, what have I got? Don't really know if I have any passive features for this. In which I do not. But, um... Let's see what else I got. Do I have lethal feeders? Alright, so that'd be up to 17%. For just the two rare. I think they're both rare. Yeah, both rare. So that'd be 17%. Let's just get in the true Paul where it's a little bit quieter. Check my gold. I have exactly 1100. So now I'll have exactly a thousand. All right, so we're active. Now let's see what it would look like. Oh, I actually have a super in there too. So it went up 3%. But if we look at my gifts... Should be good now. Let me uh. This is to get another uh. Bane Sika, which I'll probably still have to Zodiac swap. Should be good now since I'm able to hold more friends. Go back to my gifts. Let's 
see, I've gotten a few more from Crystal Siege, whatever. We have five VIP XP there. I'll just accept that. Alright, so we'll get the 5 VIP XP. And we're back to 1,015 gold. And we just need 5 gold to increase it to 4, so let's do it. Alright, so now we're VIP 4. Now trade window goes it's down to 9 days. We've got even more friends. And passive increase went up to 40%. Now I also have 4 trades. Speaking of which, i got to accept one more. Well, as you can see, these are the trades I got upcoming soon. This is a Zodiac swap. That's talking about. I just perfectly evolved it for him. And I'm getting another Dominion Epic. I'm also, I'm g giving him my Reward Epic and uh, Evolved Reward Ultra to get that real peed. And this will be, get doing, be getting done pretty soon. I think I'm getting two, uh, yeah, t two XO Supers for that uh, creature. Anyways, get it in there, accept that. So, so I've done three trades today. I should have a fourth. Was not showing it. Well, anyways, it's not a deal. Not the special that we want, we want rock specials. Alright, this is going to be my Dominion Storage Giveaway. So, I'm probably going to announce a, 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 an official giveaway for this entire storage bin of Dominion Supers, because I obviously have no use for them, and I figured my, my channel is mainly based on my Dominion path in Battle Camp, or, well, my Battle Camp my time playing battle camp completely but I mainly play Dominion uh, I think a lot of my viewers started from when I started making Dominion spin videos and everything so 
Why not celebrate my 500 subscribers, which I reached not too long ago, uh, by giving away all seven of these Dominion Supers? I'll figure out how to do the, how I'm gonna set that all, set all that up, and figure out how I'm gonna do the giveaway. Then we'll, I'll officially announce it probably in a couple days or so, and we'll get that going. But back to some other things in here. Yeah, see, I still need a couple more uh, rock specials. I think I have m maybe a couple more, one or two more of the energized ones, but I don't really want to waste energized ones as evos. Evo specials. Oh yeah, this is basically like my retort, my retired uh, second evolve bin, because I don't use any of these supers anymore for the most part. There's one energized, and another energized. So I guess I could make it. I'll just waste uh, energized rock specials. But anyways, back to what we were doing here. Let's see if we can get this passive up. Now it's 12% chance per mob. Alright, we only get a 35% chance, but let's go for it. And it fails. That's a bummer. And I think I got a few bulwark feeders, and this might be the highest passive I have. Unfortunately, it's just on a mob that's meant for defense only, but... Probably because it's the only mob I have that I use bulwark on. So it gets all the bulwark feeders I ever get. Nope, that didn't work either. Let's see if I can get anything to work here. That fails also. No R boost. Nothing else I really want to do here. Anyways, what do you guys think about VIP? Do you guys use it? Do you think it's helpful at all? Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about VIP. I think this is the third time I've ever activated it in the two and a half plus years I've been playing the game. And 
another thought I've had was Pokemon Go is and I'm having a big event in Chicago in uh, I think about two weeks maybe in a week or so and I thought it'd be a great idea if maybe the battle camp community could get an event even though obviously battle camp's not augmented reality game but it's still got a pretty strong uh, community and a lot of people love the game got a huge Facebook page and everything I'd love to see Penny Pop put on like a battle camp event, maybe in New York City or something. And I think they're based in San Francisco. Maybe they could have it there, and maybe draw in some of us YouTubers that have a a little bit of a following on on YouTube and everything. I just I don't know. I just thought it, I think it'd be a pretty cool idea to meet some a lot of other battle camp fans and. Maybe they can make some more plushies like they did for the Elfkamo or whatever. I don't know. I just think it'd be pretty neat for them to do. Maybe reach out to the community and get more support from us. Because Dominion, they got pretty rough on, on their Facebook page from all the Dominion problems. But I, I didn't mind Dominion. It worked out for me in the long run. My troop got second and I got... 85th for individual so and I do have all of my epics on this account now after I got this one off of my other account and I got the troop rewards so I got that one and all those then this one and this one So I got a bunch of them laying around. Hopefully I'll be able to officially make a full team of these guys or better. Um, close to getting two more of the base mobs of the five. So I'll have three out of five for base mobs. And I'll just need to the, make the feeders and everything else and get a whole bunch of stones to complete the team. But anyways, I'm just rambling on a bit here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and have a good one.